Welcome to the Bernadette Jackson podcast, where we are redefining how the world views women with daddy issues by discussing topics, sharing stories, and gaining insight, all from the perspective of a fatherless daughter. I'm your host, Bernadette, the creator of Her Way Relationship Intensive and Her Coalition Facebook group. This episode is brought to you by Her Way Relationship Intensive. My eight-week personalized relationship intensive is for fatherless daughters who are ready to heal from their father loss so that they can attract and maintain the amazing relationships they deserve. If you fear you will never experience the love you want because you continue to find yourself in unfulfilling relationships that lead nowhere, this program is for you. If you are tired of performing, overextending yourself, and prioritizing everyone else's needs above your own, and you want to learn how to show up authentically and confidently articulate your needs and desires in relationships without the fear of rejection or shame, let me be your guide. I will walk alongside you as you connect the dots from the pain of your father loss to the type of relationships you experience. My tested and proven method will walk you through exactly how I and my clients developed an amazing relationship with ourselves so that we can attract and maintain the amazing relationships we deserve with others. Her Way Relationship Intensive was created with the relationship of the fatherless daughter in mind. Your thinking, your struggles, and your responses have all been carefully considered when I created this program, and a path toward amazing relationships was designed especially for you. Enrollment is open, so head to BernadetteJackson.com forward slash her way to learn more. That's BernadetteJackson.com forward slash her way. Surviving trauma leads to developing coping mechanisms. Those are usually numbing behaviors that allow us to forget and and compartmentalize the pain of the trauma. Doing that also numbs the good feelings we experience, making nothing stand out as beautiful, amazing, or joyful. We then thrill-seek by using behaviors that bring us the good feelings more often because the expectation we have about how intense those feelings should be or how long they should last are not met. It's a cycle of numbing the pain, then thrill-seeking the good feelings. It's addictive behavior. In today's episode, I want to talk about exactly how trauma responses can show up in our lives. And a lot of times we aren't even really noticing that we're in this type of spiral or that we are responding to our triggers in this way. Before there was ever a podcast or clients or my uh, relationship intensive or anything that I do now for fatherless daughters, I actually walked myself through my own program her way relationship intensive. And what I realized during that process was that when I felt triggered by the pain of my father loss, I turned to shopping, eating, and relationships. I was a serial monogamous, y'all. I can look back in hindsight and see the patterns and my, my trigger responses, my trauma responses. I didn't realize at the time that it was a cycle that I was in. I would feel triggered and then my brain would activate my response to it by extracting that feeling and placing it in a box seemingly never to be seen or felt again. My coping mechanism was to ignore the feelings and self-abandon. What I clearly didn't realize at the time is that ignoring the pain and the hurt I felt would manifest itself in my behaviors. So anytime I needed to make myself feel better, instead of feeling the feelings, nurturing myself and getting into community, all of the things that I now do as a part of my routine of resistance, I went on a mini shopping spree telling myself that I needed some new work clothes and several hundred dollars later, I'd feel better. 
or I would go out to dinner at my favorite restaurants and then go get a slice of red velvet cake and then get some Ben and Jerry's almond brittle vegan ice cream and then get some kettle corn popcorn or chips and then get some chocolate covered pretzels and then I'd feel better. Or I would go to the dating apps that I was on or I would call some old flame and I would laugh and flirt it up for a few hours to dull the pain and then I would feel better. I did this for years without realizing that that was my response to trauma. All because I would not allow myself to feel the feelings, process them, and heal. So why am I telling you all this? It's because I believe that you can relate to everything I just said. Your trauma response may not be shopping, food, or relationships, but it may be sex, drinking, drugs, traveling, TV, clout chasing on the gram, throwing yourself into work, throwing yourself into church. Yes, church, because many people are out here medicating with with ministry and the endless other distractions that you choose. Literally anything can be a trauma response if it is being used to, dist- to distract you from the healing that is required for that trauma not to trigger you the way that it does. So this is a really short episode because I just wanted to come in and let you guys know that a lot of the things that we are doing right now is in response to the trauma that we feel and the pain that we have left unhealed. And so I just want to leave you with two questions. What triggers you and throws you off your game? Because that is likely an indication that healing is needed in that area. And number two, when you discover what triggers you, what will you do about it? Will you abandon yourself by ignoring it and continuing to do what you've been doing? Or will you finally decide to heal? Ask yourself those questions. And when you do, slide into my DMs and let me know what you decided. Because I want to be there for you, whatever that is and whatever capacity I can be, when you finally decide to prioritize your healing. Thank you for joining me in another episode of the Bernadette Jackson podcast. If there is a topic that you'd like for me to discuss or a question that you can that you'd like to ask me, you can go to my IG page at Bernadette N Jackson. That's B E R N A D E T T E N J A C K S O N and you can click on the link in my bio. Then you're going to go to the button that says How can I help? And you can enter your question or discussion topic there. And I just want to let y'all know that I'm on Clubhouse now, y'all. So you can follow me by searching my name, Bernadette Jackson. And I just want to let you guys know, as always, that I love you. I will see you in the next one. And do not forget that you deserve amazing relationships. Bye.